What's up, future officers? My name is Tejas, and I welcome you all very warmly to this new episode of I Lead. Something very dreadful has happened in African continent in this country called as Ethiopia. Sir, where is Ethiopia? It is on the eastern side, what we generally, very commonly, very famously called as the Horn of Africa. Horn of Africa is a combination of four countries, guys. Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia and Djibouti or Djibouti, however you want to call it. Okay, so in these four countries, Ethiopia is that landlocked country which is there. All the other countries has some kind of border with a maritime, uh, with the sea. But Ethiopia is one country which is landlocked and a volcano has gone boom. It has erupted in Ethiopia. So if I have to tell you about this volcano, this is mainly a dormant shield volcano. Okay, shield volcano means successive sheets of lava has been settled over a long period of time. Dormant volcano, why? Because for a very long time, if I have to be a little precise with the years, some 10,000 to 12,000 years ago, it had it is said to have erupted. After that, it's been dormant. For the last 10 to 12,000 years, no activity found, no volcano has happened, nothing. But suddenly out of nowhere, this huge eruption has happened in this place, in this volcano, which is called as Haley Gubi. Sir, when did this happen? This happened for the first time ever in November 23, 2025. And by first time ever, what I'm meaning to tell is that it has happened in the recent past for the first time. November 23, 2025. Geologists are classifying this to be a very severe disaster. So because of this huge eruption, there's a big ash cloud which is formed above this volcano big ash cloud so in this ash cloud lot of smoke dust ash pyroclastic materials are all ejected into the atmosphere and after the ejection it's happened with so much of pressure that it's gone 14 kilometers vertically upwards almost going into the troposphere till the tropopause now, you all know what happens when you hit the tropopause. There is something called as upper atmospheric circulation. We call them as jet streams. Usually, they move in something called as Rossby waves. So, they move very fastly upper atmospheric circulation. So, these dust, ash, pyroclastic materials, all of this is being collected. This smoke is being collected in this upper atmospheric circulation by these jet streams. And suddenly, now it is moving. It is moving towards the Red Sea, it is moving towards the Arabian Peninsula, it is moving towards Pakistan and now it has come into India. Okay, in India, you see that it will affect Rajasthan, it will affect Haryana and then finally, the place where maximum it is cursed with very bad geography, Delhi. Right, Delhi is already suffering with a lot of air pollution. We see protests are happening because of a lot of air pollution. And to add to the misery, these jet streams are bringing this ash cloud into Delhi. And that's going to worsen Delhi's air pollution by a lot. Fortunately, if we have to speak about this volcano, there is no casualty with respect to people. There is no lot of damage to the assets the material wealth of the people, nothing has happened, very fortunately, nothing like that. In fact, because of this particular eruption and a lot of smoke being ejected into the atmosphere, yesterday one flight from Kerala had taken off and from this Kerala, it was going to Abu Dhabi. But because of this jet stream transversing and bringing all this smoke and dust and ash and everything, the flight had to take a detour and land at Ahmedabad. Similarly, we see that the Ministry of Civil Aviation has cancelled several flights across India. Either it's being cancelled or it's being taken a detour. Lot of things are happening with especially with regarding to the air flight scheduling. When we have to strictly speak about this Haley Gubi, it is in this province which is called as Afar province. Afar province of Ethiopia. It is part of a mountain chain which is called as LTLA mountains. And in this LTLA mountain, most of them have volcanic origin in that there is one of the southernmost mountains which is there. But now a question might arise that see, we know that it's a dormant volcano, it's a steeled volcano. One more thing about this particular volcano is that it's called as a strato volcano. What do we understand by a strato volcano? That means that these particular mountains are mainly formed because of volcanic plumes being ejected 
and slowly it is being cooled rapidly cooled due to the contact with the atmosphere these strato volcanoes usually get their material from the mantle they are called as mantle plumes also so they get their molten magma from this place called as asthenosphere now asthenosphere is this radioactive plastic like layer okay which is very ductile in nature some 40 50 60 70 kilometers of width so from there all this volcanic plumes is coming and it is settling but why all this activity is happening right now see we see that african rift valley is slowly being separated because of tectonic activity and slowly moving towards india maybe africa will join india in a few million years okay we will not be there to see that but you know it is happening in that direction now because this divergent plate boundary movement is happening especially in this afar region it is a hot spot of tectonic activity and when i say that it is a hot spot of tectonic activity there are three plates there the nubian plate the arabian plate and the somali plate so totally three plates all of them they are separating from each other and slowly this great african rift valley is slowly being separated and this separation this divergent boundary movement because of this tectonic activity is slowly creating all these volcanic activity and it is making that dormancy of many mountains become active because of this we see that the impact is of air pollution to india so we'll have to wait and watch how this all turns up how the protests in delhi are going to intensify or what's going to happen i hope that this video gave you information about this particular volcano and now you are a little more informed until next time this stage is signing off thank you and have a nice day